Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a great, lovely day. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the process of getting my GED and how I pass my GED and then getting my GED. <laughs> Let's just dive right into it. Let's just start off straight off the bat when I dropped out of high school. So when I dropped out of high school, I didn't just drop out of high school. I actually got legally signed out by the principal and my parents. So basically, I 4140, which in Hawaii, that's what it's called when you sign out of school, I believe, from what I remember. And I'm not sure if it's like that for any other schools like in the mainland. But Hawaii, it's called a 4140. Before I did that, in the office, there was this pamphlet was talking about GED diploma and C-based diploma and like alternative ways of going to school and getting your high school diploma or something equivalent. I was like, yeah, that's what I want to fucking do. I don't want to go to fucking school. So I got the pamphlet, 4140, and I ended up going to Waipahu Community School for Adults Night School, which I believe if you just ask around, if you're at high school and you feel like you don't want to go and you're not from Hawaii and you just want to ask around, just ask around, ask teachers, don't be shame about it. And if you ask them, they should give you like a local like school that does GED testing. They should give you sources. If not, then you can just Google it and find out on your own, you know? It's not that hard. <laughs> I only know it's for Hawaii. I don't know it for like any other fucking state. I don't, I've never been to any other state. I've only graduated from Hawaii. Yeah. When I went to Waipahu Community School for Adults to register, you know, they register you. And then you go into this testing room and you take this test. When you take that test, it'll determine whether you can take your C-based diploma or get your GED. The GED is technically harder and the C-based is technically easier. So depending on what score you get is dividing you right then and there what they think should be good for you to get. They told me that I was going to get the C-based diploma. I was going to Waipahu Community School for Adults and I was going to night school on Monday and Wednesday for my C-based diploma. So there are two different types of diplomas that I know about, which is the regular GED and the C-based diploma. Correct me if I'm wrong, This is, I'm just going based off of my memory. I was going for my C-based diploma. I was all set, all ready to do my C-based diploma. Basically, they teach you on five subjects, and it's not like math, reading, or social studies. It's like the laws, health, um, things like that, like life skills. <laughs> Like actually life skills, like how to do your taxes and things like that. So it's five books divided into the year or whatever. And you would take each book and then at the end you take a mastery test. And if you pass the mastery test, you got your C-based diploma. So I was on road to getting my C-based diploma until we took a field trip to Leeward Community College. And the people at there said that if you do have your C-based diploma and you decide to go to college, you won't receive financial aid because a C-based diploma isn't equivalent to a GED or a high school diploma. So I was like, okay, so if I do decide to go to college, I won't get financial aid. And I'm not gonna go to college, but if I ever decide to go or decide to try it like a little bit later, I would like to be to have financial aid because you know what i'm poor <laughs> like, <laughs> i would like to receive financial aid if i did decide to go to college but if i did have a c-based diploma i won't be able to get any financial aid because it's not equivalent to a ged or a high school diploma so after i quit night school with the c-based diploma i was asking them how to get my ged we have to go on top of our website they have a website called pluto you would take practice tests for each subject which is reading math social studies and science you take practice tests and it was online, so it was a lot better. It wasn't in class, and I believe they did have an in-class session, which was on Tuesday and Thursdays. I did the online one for about maybe like two or three weeks, and then I got bored of it. I was like, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna say screw it and just ask them to take the test. <laughs> I went there, and I found out that there is no actual like, you can't just do it online at home. You have to go to an actual testing center and get and do the test, okay? And I, I didn't know that. What I did was I went to GED.com, which is where they will send you. Right at the top, it'll say schedule test. When you press schedule test, in my case, a big red thing popped up saying that if you don't have a certain amount of years going to high school or you don't have this much credit, you cannot take the test. If you do have that, it still won't let you take the test. You would have to send over your transcripts to your local high school that does um, GED testing so they can confirm that you can schedule your test. So I had to send over my transcripts from James Campbell High School to Waipahu Community School for Adults and they confirmed it and I pressed schedule test. Before I scheduled test, I was like, am I really gonna pass this? Because I heard it was like really fucking hard. I was like, you know what? I was like, hold up. So I have the ability to schedule the test, but I'm gonna do some practice tests first. So on GED.com, it does have a, um, it does have practice tests that are called GED Red practice test which is basically a mimicked version of the test we take it at home for each subject it is six dollars they're my test scores for my GED ready practice test so considered passing is 145 English I got 166 
social studies, I got 150, science, I got 172, and math, I got 161. So those are my test scores for the GED Ready Practice Test. English, social studies, and science, I passed one time for the GED Ready. Math, I needed to take multiple times. So the first time I got 145, the second time I got 150, and the third time I got 161. So I did it three times just to make sure that I had it down, you know, because the second time I passed, but I wanted to make sure I would pass again, so I did it the second time. After I was sure that I was going to pass all four of my tests, I scrolled up to the top and I pressed schedule test. And then when I scheduled my test, I scheduled, I believe it was English and Social Studies one day, and then Science and Math another day. So I did two tests within two days. Each test has a different length of how long it took. I believe science was the longest or math is the longest and it was like an hour or two I don't really remember but all the tests are timed in case you did not know that forgot to mention that when you go on GED.com and you schedule your test it costs $35 to schedule your test because that's what each individual subject costs to take the GED test you schedule it it's $35 then you pick a day and you pick a time when you pick the time, make sure you show up on time because I believe if you're 15 to 30 minutes late, they won't take you and they'll tell you that you have to reschedule it another day and another time. You also won't get your $35 refunded, so if you don't go on time, it's like a waste of $35. When you get to the testing center, make sure you also bring a valid ID or driver's license. Make sure you know your social security number because they'll ask you to fill out forms with your social security number on it. So you have three times to take the test. If you don't pass the test three times, like that specific subject, then you have to wait two months in order to try and retake the test. So basically, if I took the math test and I failed it three times, I would have to wait two months in order for me to take it again. And I went and I took all of the tests. And for English, I got 159. For social studies, I got 160. For science, I got 154. And for math, I got 163. So right off the bat from there, I passed all of my GED tests. And when I did pass all of my GED tests, a couple days later, they emailed me saying if I passed it or not. And I passed it. I was so happy. And then when I passed it, they called me later in the day or I got an email, I'm not 100% sure, from Waipapu Community School for Adults saying that, oh hey, we have your GED diploma ready to pick up. Come by Waipapu Community School for Adults and you know, you can pick it up. So I picked it up and then this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it. Let me focus it right here. Yeah, so this is what it looks like and yeah. That was my entire like GED process and getting my GED. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm totally down to like answer it down in the comments below or like email me or something like that and I'll totally help you guys out. That was my entire process. <laughs> and if by chance I'm wrong in any of this video, just correct me. I'm totally fine with it. And yeah, have a great night, day or whatever you guys are having and I'll see you guys later. Bye!